This stretch of power line services people and businesses from Campton to Whitefield. Tuesday, Eversource brought in helicopters to repair some problems in the line found during an inspection. This transmission line is one of only two that supplies the northern loop in New Hampshire. That serves approximately 30,000 of our customers, and it's critical that we make these repairs so that they can have reliable power. The inspection, which was conducted by drone, found issues with the lines that needed to be addressed immediately, like wood rot and cracks. The structures along the 45-mile stretch were built in the 1950s and made of wood. The elements and animals like woodpeckers and bears have taken a toll. This line sees a lot of wind, ice, snow and challenging conditions. We're doing the bare minimum that we need to do to come in here and maintain the operation of this line. Helicopters were used to conduct the repair work, which includes replacing the cross arms. The helicopters not only remove the old arm, but bring in the new one. Eversource says using helicopters also has less of an impact on the environment, as opposed to making the repairs by bringing in tracked equipment, which is difficult in this terrain. This area has uh, got a lot of sensitivities to it. There's archaeological um, artifacts here. There's also environmental impacts such as wetlands, um, rare species, things like that. Although this work is necessary, Eversource says what's really needed is a rebuild of this line. We need to replace them with steel structures so that they can withstand the severe weather, the increasingly severe and frequent storms we're seeing. In addition to new infrastructure, Eversource says a rebuild would include new technology that gives them the ability to reroute and restore power to the area more quickly. Now these repairs will be wrapped up in about a week and they're crucial to maintaining the functionality of the line. In Sugar Hill, Alana Flood, WMUR News 9.